Today is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off the day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there will be times when you both disagree, these will surely be outweighed by pleasure. You have heard many words of advice in the past when the secrets of marriage were spoken, but you know that the secrets lie hidden inside, where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of a new life for you. As you stand there together with love in your eyes, from the moment you whisper, I do. And with luck, all your hopes and your dreams can be real. May success find its way to your hearts, and tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys. But today is the day it all starts. Thank you very much, Kevin. And for our second reading today, A Marriage by Michael Bloom. I would like to ask Katie's sister, come in. Mitchell is looking forward to your future together and the family you will raise. 
and with the fact that you have two dogs that clearly like you more than Mitchell is any indication, <coughs> you're going to be a great mom. Dave, you are not only Mitchell's best friend, but the love of this, you are his whole world. It's okay, I now ask you, from this day forward, do you vow to always put your relationship first and to make sure you are constantly working to be better people? Do you promise to always respect Mitchell as a person, a partner, and a people, knowing that you do not complete one another, but instead complement each other? Do you vow to stand by him in life's beautiful moments and in the difficult ones, to celebrate the joy of everyday life, to always keep your home filled with love and laughter? And do you care, vow to support Mitchell, to push him, inspire him, and above all, to love him for the rest of your lives, till death do you part, and be alive. I do. Mitchell, if someone would have told Katie the night you met that she would marry you one day, she <laughs> would have left. Especially given that wonderful pickup line that you used on her, and the fact that at some point during the evening you wound up sitting in her lap. Now, standing here today, she is staring into the eyes of her best friend. Never could she imagine how strong your love would grow over the years, or that you would accomplish everything together as a team. Mitchell Katie admires you so deeply. Your determined spirit, your kind soul, your love for others, and your patience inspire her every day. <laughs> Standing here in front of your family and friends and committing to the rest of her life to you is unbelievably easy, because you already are her whole world. She can't imagine spending a separate single moment in this life without you. So Mitchell, I ask, do you promise that you will always be by Katie's side to support her in any decision she makes, to always have her back? Do you promise to always pick her up when she is down, to open her car door even when it's pouring rain? Do you promise to love Katie even when things get tough, secure in the knowledge that you will get through it together, Except when it comes to getting better at leaving your things lying around the house because that's all on you. <laughs> and you promise to love Katie in the good times and the bad forever and all until death do you have. I do. And don't get it. You have known each other from that first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decide to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in the car over a meal or during long walks. All those sentences that began with, when we're married, and continue with, I will, and you will, and we will. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of life. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a safe way of saying to others. You know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all. Every day. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, and even teacher. But now you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, This is my husband, and this is my wife. May you have them? Yeah. <laughs> Mitchell, I choose you as my husband. To have you and to hold you. To have you and to hold you. To 
to have you and to hold you. To honor you, to treasure you. To honor you, to treasure you. To be at your side in sorrow and in joy. To be at your side in sorrow and in joy. In the good times and in the bad. In the good times and in the bad. To love and cherish you all. To love and cherish you always. You have me now as you are. Will you have me now as your wife? I will. Place Mitchell's ring on his finger. Don't say it, screw him up. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. And now holding his hand over the end of his eyes, please, all his Mitchell, with this ring, I marry you. Mitchell, with this ring, I marry you. And join my life to you. And join my life to yours. Okay, and Mitchell, this one, I would like the two of you to join each other at the table. And I would also like to ask your mothers. Katie Mitchell, you as well as your mothers have written letters to each other expressing your deepest feelings for each other, your hopes and dreams for your future, and maybe a few favorite memories as you enter into this precious time in your relationship. Neither of you has seen what the other has written. These letters, along with this bottle of wine, will be locked into this box. Today, you will seal this box and display it in a prominent location in your home. This will be a reminder of the commitment you have made here today. On the happy occasion of your first anniversary, I ask that you open this box, read your letters, share the wine, and enjoy your memories of this day. Then, place a new bottle of wine in the box and add to your letters, creating a new tradition. As time passes, you have a confirmation of your love for each and a living document of the growth and depth of your ever-evolving relationship. So, Katie okay, Mitchell, I ask, do you promise to respect and honor the commitments you have made here today and achieve this through kindness, compassion, and an ever-adoring heart? And do you also promise to resist the temptation to sneak a look at each other's letters, not open this bottle because it has been a hard week at work and you forgot to stop the liquor store, or use this bottle as a step stool so you can reach the glasses on the top shelf, which will probably not be a problem for Katie if she's wearing those shoes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 